Hi, welcome to this iframe embed tutorial. So iframe embed allows you to bring in lots of other websites into your Dora website. You can interact with these websites on your Dora page. There are also many other things that you can embed in, for example, Typeform, CodePen, Instagram, Spotify, and etc. In the page, we click on the insert button and select embed. Just drag on the canvas to create widget. And there are two options here, URL and HTML. So let's start with URL. So URL allows you to embed the whole web page into this widget. Let's copy this URL here. To resize the widget, you can just drag and control it. Now let's go into preview and see how it looks like. You can interact with the web page and every feature inside the web page. Next, let's talk about HTML. So here in Splang, we click export, and then we copy this embed code. We go back to Dora, we select HTML, we type in this custom code. Now we only embed this design. However, there's something to notice. Here I have copied a YouTube code. Even though the frame is large, you will notice that the actual thing that I insert is smaller. Why? Let's look into the code because here there is a specific dimension. We should set this into width and height as both 100%. And now this follows its parent container. Whenever I drag it, it is totally responsive. Well, sometimes this does not work for every iframe widgets. For example, here's Spotify. Spotify only supports two kinds of heights. One is like more compact, one is taller. So when I embed this widget, it only shows the default uh, set it in size. Even though I enlarge the height of the widget here, the Spotify widget isn't changing. Last, let's talk about troubleshooting your widgets. If your widget does not work, there might be two situations. First, URLs. First is that we do not support websites starting with HTTP. And second is that some websites are disabled by safety policies. And for HTML custom codes, First is just double check if your code is formatted correctly. And second is that your custom code should not exceed 10,000 characters. That's all for this tutorial. See you in the next episode.